second dance at the Cavs luncheon was expected, but not another verse of musical coaches. Head coach Bill Musselman was notable by his absence, but little did we know this was Ted's surprise for the day, releasing Musselman for a second time. Here's the man who took Musselman's spot at the head table, Tom Nesulke, late of the Utah Jazz, fired by that club in December, coming from the Las Vegas franchise in the CBA, and a one-time NBA and ABA coach of the year. Why do you think they wanted you, Tom? I think, you know, to be candid, a lot of it gets down to availability. You know, what people, if you're going to make a coaching change, what people are available. In addition, Don Delaney, the former head coach, becomes an assistant under Nisalki. But why these moves now, after six preseason games? Harry Weltman was hired by Stepien recently to run the Cavs. And it was Weltman's decision, agreed to by Stepien, to release Musselman. The decision was made, since I've been here a very short time, it was only made uh, really a couple of days ago. With the economy and, the, you know, we needed a shot in the arm. I think the team needed a jolt, you know, and a, a good one, you know, as far as not that they were doing anything wrong, but, you know, something that get this team on course. Though the move is unexpected and comes late in the preseason, Stepien is finally hiring key personnel with NBA experience and Nisalki and Weltman, something the club has, without question, been sorely lacking.